What's up guys? Good morning from Angeli City. Just finished eating breakfast down at Tequila Reef. I had their breakfast burrito. Boy, was that good, but man, I cannot eat that much. It's too much food for me. Um, but anyways, as I was standing there, uh, everybody, a lot of people are familiar with Anna. Um, they call her, people call her homeless Anna. Anna, um, she walked up to me and she started talking to me and uh, it's sad. It's sad. Uh, a lot of people here have, a lot of people have tried to help Anna. Anna, I've always said, and Luis has always said, if she was on some type of medication here, she probably would be able to function a lot better. Um, but the sad part is, unless you got money, um, you know, it's, it's the help isn't needed. Um, so anyways, I asked Anna if I could interview her a little bit, talk to her a little bit, find out what's been going on with her. And uh, she said, okay. So I'm going to interview Anna. Hello, this is already the invitation for my new Facebook account. This is Anna Maria Sarigila, the one you talk to me, the one you're so much beautiful. <laughs> you have a Facebook account, Anna? Facebook account is on my, on my page. Oh, okay, on your page. Yes. You, you, you should, you, everybody knows you around here, right Anna? Yes, Anna Maria Sariguilla, I'm, I'm so much happy with the so much number one, um, um, uh, um, seen on air. Right. That was the Maria, I was so happy. You're so the, happy? Yes. The consisting, um, fun is number one, I like it so much number What one. makes you happy, Anna? What makes me happy uh -oh. is to be else better than everything. Right. Yes. Here, step over here. It's a little dark right here. Step here and then the light. So everybody can see your face. There you go. That's better. What? Now I know you recently had a job. What was your job? Uh, what my, did you do at your job? My job before is... Um, is what? Beautiful sexy. <laughs> Beautiful and sexy. Yes. No, you were working somewhere, weren't you? Working at a at a at a. Uh, they little... working me before as a complete attendant for you because you're so handsome. Oh, okay. They mean so much. Where these were only all. And how long did you have your job? How I... how many did you have it for a month, two months, a week? A couple have... months. How long were you working? For all, all of the days, when yeah, I said yeah. yes, I, I get my work. Right. I just have it. And this one. What happened to your toe, Anna? Nothing. It looks bruised. Yes. You better keep. You better take care of that. Yes. You don't want it to get infected. <laughs> Is that your little stuffed animal? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. Where do you have apartment still? You have apartment now? Oh, apartment. Uh oh. Uh, me. Yeah. Uh, I don't have apartment. You don't have apartment? Yes. You do. Okay. How how old are you, Anna? My age uh -oh. is uh, twenty. Twenty. Wow, you look good for twenty. <laughs> yes, better better than me. Yeah. How long you've been living in Angahala City? How many years? For me? Yeah. Since I was uh, Asian. Since I was Asian now. Since you were how old? Asian. Angel. Asian here in Angeles, I just say. Oh, okay. Very nice. You're doing good though, Anna? Yes, sir. Full food. That's good. So oh, Salama, thank you. Well, it's good, to, it's good for the update. I'm sorry you lost your job. Because I know you were working somewhere for a while, and now you're uh, now you have no job. Yes, everything turns into that. Yeah. All right, Anna. Just get an update on Anna because I know people people always have said, "How's Anna doing? What's Anna up to?" And like I said, I know Anna just had a job here. From my understanding, she worked a couple, maybe a month or so. I don't know what happened there, but she's she's not working. Um, 
and I know a lot of people do watch out for Anna here. I know they do, I know a lot of foreigners help her out with eating and food and yeah, I, I know for a fact they do. So anyways, guys, that's the update on Anna. Do you have anything else to say, Anna? Um, after after my, my issue of my, my issued um, friend, uh -huh. um, I just like to say it's perfect. It's nice, my painting. All right. That was my favorite. All right, that Anna. Nice. After, after, after issuing that, what was that in my life? Right. You have God in your life. Yes. Yes. You believe in God? I believe in God. Right. Yes. And I love you, Brian. Oh, okay. All right, Anna. Thank you. You be safe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got some time to kill. Fill up the rest of this video. I'll take a little stroll. Tequila Reef, like I said, I just ate there. Food's very... I like the food. I like the food. Uh, we'll just walk down A Santos. Show you anything, if there's anything new going on on A Santos Street here. Not really. I don't know. I must, I must be like some of these guys. He's uh, a... Right, cool ya. Uh, you always, I always see the same faces. I eat up here around the same time every morning. Not every morning, but when I do, it's always around the same time. It's like I see the same faces all the time. You got the morning people, the afternoon people, and the night people. I'm a morning person. How blurry yeah, buddy? <laughs> Rob's Gastro Pub. This place here, I think it might be still closed. The penthouse. I gotta get up on the roof one of these days when they open up the restaurant up there. You get the Wild Ace Poker Room. From my understanding, they are open. They still, they open, right? Later on, but they're, they're open for business. 1 p.m., okay. So the Wild Ace Poker Room is open. I'm not a gambler, I'm not a poker guy, I'm not a casino guy. I do like to walk into the casinos here and check them out, uh, but nah, I'm not a, it's not me. Looks like the Black Pearl, looks like they're doing some restoration, remodeling. Wild Orchid is still closed. Uh, I talked to the guy that runs it. He told me once this pandemic lifts, they're going to uh, reopen. How you doing? Coconut. Are you making coconut juice? Yeah, of course. Making coconut juice. And then you'll go and pedal around and sell it. So there it is, scraping it out. What do you put in there? You put water in there or coconut juice in there, right? Juice. You'll put the juice in, right. You put ice in there to make it cold? Yeah. Thought it'd be cold. Uh, and salt okay so coconut coconut sugar, juice sugar sugar and salt i didn't know that only i learned sugar. i learned huh only sugar oh only sugar i was gonna say salt would kind of <laughs> so only sugar all right i didn't know that i learned something new thank you yeah i didn't know that uh the wild orchid as soon as this pandemic lifts he said they said they're gonna open it uh there was rumor or there was talk that they sent all their workers home and uh, they're gonna close it forever. As far as I know, up to about a month ago when I talked to the gentleman, they are going to reopen it. Waiting game. It's just a waiting game. One euphoria, they're still cranking away. As soon as they get up and running, the woman told me that uh, she'll bring me back in there and I can show you one euphoria. From my understanding, uh, let me think. The new Candy Tower is open. That's what somebody told me. I didn't verify it. That's what I was told. Here, this is right here. Uh, I'm good. That's the final product right there. I'm just gonna walk down to the 7-Eleven here. Somebody asked me what the difference was, or what the difference is between 7-Elevens in the states and 7-elevens here not much of a 
difference. You know, here it's like the same thing. You know, they, they sell snacks, they sell chips, they sell everything that you kind of would find in a 7-Eleven as far as food products go. Here, same thing. Just, it's Filipino brands. Snickers and candies and sodas, waters. Here they sell beer. Different places in the States. They have beer, they don't have beer. Um, 7 is another, you can go in there, they have these little kiosk machines. And you can load up Gcash, which is, is an app you put on your phone. And uh, you put on your phone and, uh, all right, this person's waving me. I don't know, this might be a lady boy. This person's waving to me. I think it's a lady boy. Yes, yes it is. Yes. Huh? Oh no! No, oh, you're batting for the wrong team. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Batting for the wrong team. <laughs> I always say that. The very, the very. Uh, I don't know what you would say. Very uh, friendly. There, there it is. Friendly. But I always tell them, sorry, you're batting for the wrong team. Uh, but oh, I was talking about the kiosk machines in the 7-Eleven. Uh, you go in, you, you can use it to load money into what's called a Gcash account. And if you Gcash account, you can play bills with that online through your app. Um, there's other things. Uh, I can load my travel voucher that I need to put money on that. All right, guys, so I said I wanted to come up to the penthouse and I wasn't sure if they were open. I've never been up here. So as I was walking back, I seen, uh, I asked and they said, yes, the rooftop is open. So the rooftop is open for dining. Um, walk in, you can walk in. You don't need to be a guest here, but let me show you, it's nice. Never been up here. Here it is. You got the bar area here. You got the reception area. You don't have to walk up steps. They have an elevator. They have a pool, as you can see. Uh, she did tell me, not now, because of, you know, with everything that's still going on. She said you used to be able to, and eventually she said they will start allowing it, to where you can come up here, sit down and eat, and actually go swimming. You can use their swimming pool. But here it is, really nice up here. I've always looked up here and looked up here, sat right down here, Right down there and eight, hung out. That is, uh, what is that? Uh, geez, what is the name of that place? Slips my mind right now. No, that's not the name of the place. Um, but yeah, I've always sat there and looked up here. This is one of the tallest here in the area. Look at the view out there, it's amazing. But really nice. They have smoking section here if you're a smoker. What a pool, it's just beautiful. cabanas you can sit this doesn't have an umbrella on it but I'm sure they would put one on if you asked but I asked her how business is and she said eh because it wasn't open for the longest time so but wow is it nice breeze up here in that pool and it just looks refreshing refreshing here's the other side here I'll show you the view over here. This view is looking out towards Mount Orion, way out there. Look at the view. There's the wild orchid. Beautiful view. But there it is. And they are, the, the hotel itself is open. It is open for guests to check in. How much is the price? I don't know. You'd have to give them a call and find out for yourself. So I made it up here. Finally, finally, I made it up here. So with, the sign? with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you're here in Angola City, it's open now. And how sweet is open. If you're coming from Manila or whatever, call up here, find out what needs to be done to come stay here. Um, about it.
I'll let you guys uh, do your own homework if you want to come here. So anyways, with that being said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of the sick, the elderly, and the young if you have pets. Take care of your pets, and we'll talk to you later.